Slim Gang, we back with another banger, and I ain't gonna lie, this Sasuke DLC type mid, but I'll tell you what ain't, this intro! <laughs> Slim Gang, like I was saying, this Sasuke DLC is mid as fuck, but uh, yeah, they should have just gave us moderate, like I was saying, man. I got the in depth analysis right here for y'all, but we're gonna start off first with the patch notes. So, yeah, Slim Gang, if you notice here in the patch notes, Bandai did something here that nobody's talking about, nobody's saying anything about it, though. They have low key buffed all the jutsus and ults damage to the bosses i don't know what they got planned going on i, I don't know if they're going to be trying to bring back barrier battle in ninja world league or something i don't know what's going on man i'm gonna tell y'all right now y'all talking about y'all bringing the fun that is not fun y'all see it right there massive risenga increased damage dealt to bosses kamui increased damage dealt to bosses planetary devastation baruto strike all of it, same stuff, man. Sage Art Wood Style reduced damage dealt to bosses. They also have nerfs to the bosses. Like, what's going on here? Like, like Bandai, talk to us. What, what do y'all got playing here? Like, what's going on? And they also, you could tell, are trying to nerf double casting. Nigga, what the f? Yeah, Slim Gang, I ain't lying. If you go back and look at it, man, they've reduced the time that you can, uh, you can comp, like, not combo cancel, but I mean, you can cancel your action. So that's going to reduce the chances of double casting. I think they probably even got rid of it in general, man. Like, um, I, I did try to do the Eno ult, like, basically all day, man, while I was testing this out. Every time I had the Eno ult, it, it wasn't working. When I was doing my VRs trying to get the Sasuke, wasn't working, man. Like, like Bandai, they're up to some shit, man. I'm telling y'all now. But uh, this also could be, I guess, like something good for VR missions, maybe. That's what they're doing it for. You never know. But let's get into the uh, analysis. Well, first of all, I want to give a special shout out to Nightbot. I mean, the Weird Ricks. I want to give a special shout out to Sleepy JX over there on YouTube. I also want to give a special shout out to Blaze Hokage and elevate your mind over there on twitch they uh they were helping me with the testing analysis checking what breaks this jutsu and what doesn't and I, i'm afraid to say there's a lot of stuff that breaks this that breaks this uh um, rib cage whatever the susano susano armor whatever you call it man th this thing here man i i don't i don't think it's very good to be honest with you it's too many stuff that could break it you never know like and it, when it's so many options to break it, there is definitely chances that random people are just going to be running stuff to counter you. You just, you just never know, man. Like it, it's not it's not good. Basically, anything that takes away super armor, damn there, it takes it away. You can see in these clips here, man. Just look through it. Look, glimmer and flame. Octog, of course. Obo also can break it too, as you can see here. But you got to drop it on them. The uh, Kurama Link mode. See? Like I said, OBO will work. Tandem Paper Bomb gets through it. And a lot of stuff, man. Here goes the pull, Sasuke pull. You can pull them, but you can't burn them for some weird reason. The uh, wind release bullet doesn't work, but Renegon switch onto the Thousand Needles. That works. Really, the Thousand Needles, you're always going to be able to switch anyone. Uh, Hazan Strike, that surprised me. And then Water Rose or Prison, Water Prison, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sand Shield, that also actually surprised me. And you can hit them after, too. Um, Shadow Stitch didn't work, but you're going to see later on Shadow Pull work, which was weird. Mind Transmission Jutsu, um, Fire Release Bullet doesn't work. Buddha Hand Clap works. Well, what was that? I think that was a Paralyzed Kunai. That didn't work, but uh, Dynamic Entry worked. The other kicks don't work, but look at that. Halo Dance. Halo Dance works. That's crazy. Halo Dance breaks nothing but breaks this. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, Nagato, he, he's nerfed against this, except for his alt. You'll see that later on. Uh, Snake Thrust, Ripple doesn't work. Yasuka Beads doesn't work. Even Orbs. 
I, I, yeah, here it goes to orbs. I've also was running into him and everything was trying to beat him up. I ended up getting my ass kicked while I was in it. <laughs> but uh, the alt can hit through the orbs. I wanted to check that out too, make sure that worked. Um, Kurama, the Kurama alt on our healer that hits them through the uh, through the rib cage. Yeah, vanishing Rasengan doesn't work. See, strangle. There goes uh, sh Shadow Strangle. I'm sorry. That worked right there, but the Shadow Stitch doesn't work, which was weird. You can burn them with the Flame Control, but Hidden and Ash doesn't work. We even did Baruto Stream versus the Renegon Chidori, which the Renegon Chidori won. Um, all tags that you could plant on the ground basically won. You can fidget spin, but they can knock you out of it. See, healers are going to have fun against these guys, man. Cherry Blossom, Crimson Drizzle, Heavenly Foot, they all work on them. Um, the Air Palm and the Chakra Scrapple don't work, though. But here you can see Lava Style works. It takes them right out of it. But this is another funny thing. The Itachi clone takes them right out of it. And then you can continue beating on them. See, Air Palm, like I said, Chakra Scrapple doesn't work. The uh, Nagato Alt, like I said earlier, does work right here, as you can see. And speaking of ults, that Sasuke ult is mid too. They gonna have to buff the whole DLC, man. Like, watch, look for an update in two weeks. <laughs> and y'all do remember this picture, right, Slim Gang? What happened to this? They knew this was gonna break the game, bro. I tell you, man, this scaling alone was gonna break the game. Are you